One way to show that the air itself has mass as well is to tie a string around a volleyball or some other ball and suspend it from a meter stick which is supported at the center using a nail attached to a clamp and supported on a retort stand. The ball itself is balanced with a second mass on the other side so that we have a balanced system. Any change in mass on this end will then cause the end to either go up or down. Now, I'll take an air pump and we'll add air to the volleyball. Pull the needle out and allow it then to go free and we see then that by adding the air to the ball it has become heavier. The balance is now unbalanced. The lever is unbalanced and we have then the heavier ball going down. A second way to determine the mass of air is to Determine the mass of the ball when it's deflated on the balance and then inflating it. So I've placed a bottle cap on the balance and then we tear it. So that reads now zero. And then we place the ball um, under inflated on there and we determine its mass 257 grams. Then we inflate it. So we now have the inflated ball, we place it on the balance once again and it now reads 260 grams. So it's actually gained 3 grams in mass. And so we've added air to the ball, we haven't really changed its size appreciably, and so the additional air that has been added to the ball has then increased its mass, showing that air indeed has